This tutorial will show you how to make a waterproof sonar for your robot submarine or anything else that will tend to get wet. Now what I have here is what's called a weather resistant sonar made by the company Maxbotics. It's about a hundred dollars. It's a little expensive but it's worth it. So this sensor is mostly waterproof proof already you just need to fill in the holes fill in the seams to do this what you need to get is a RTV this RTV is a flowable sealant and it's also very soft and I'll explain why so what we're going to do is we're going to pour this RTV into the sonar here now it needs to flow within this crevice and it also has to be soft so it doesn't interfere with the sonar. If it's hard, it'll interfere, right? Now this RTV, I use a screw to just seal off the cap there. Take it off. And now I'm just going to ooze in the RTV. Like so. Now it's better to use more than you think you need. Okay. You might also see air bubbles. Air bubbles are bad. Now this RTV is going to take about an hour or so to cure. So I need to just rest it like this and give it some time to cure and then we'll come back for the next part. Now that you have your seal here cured, you want to flip it back over and you'll see various connections for your electronics. Now if you look at the data sheet, it'll say what everything does. So you just want to solder wires to just the ones you want. Uh, so here's my wire. Basically I solder it in. In this case I'm going to use the ground, the power, and the analog out, but you could use whatever ones you need for your project. Now I know you already know how to solder, so I'm not going to show you how to solder those on. So we're going to move on to the next part. What you need to get is a non-flowable RTV. Uh, this one is a 3145 RTV. It's also electronics grade. Uh, electronics grade is important so it doesn't corrode any of your electronics. Uh, it's not too big of a deal for this case because it's just electrical wiring, but it's better to get it just in case. Now. After you solder your wires on here, you then ooze this on. Now I've already done one for you. I basically molded it around so the wires are attached, ooze here, and I let it cure for about a day. It only takes a few hours, but I give it a day anyway. Now I covered up the electronics connection here as you see, but I also added extra up here as sort of a, a tension for the wires. And the reason why I did that is I had another one I did, which I think fried, uh, but basically the wires were moving around a lot, and it basically over time just sort of ripped off from the solar point there. So this is better. Just put a lot there. After you have this, and of course you have your connector at the end to plug in to your microcontroller, what I also bought is called mounting hardware. So same company, Maxbotics, sells this mounting hardware. I'm going to take it out. Now you'll see various things. The first thing you want to do is put the o-ring, the rubber o-ring, over your sonar. Now after that, I have this rigged up. Now suppose this is the hull of your robot, your UUV, your submarine. And there's a hole in here just right for the sonar to fit. Now this is just an example piece. And so you could just plug in your sonar right through that hole right there. So this is your hull and you already have this rubber seal. I'm not done, there's one more ring around. Put that ring in there. 
again so now you have a dual rubber seal both ends like that of course we're still not done there's this screwing hardware to permanently seal it so just twist that on make sure it's really tight and there you have your sonar waterproofed mounted through your hull with a waterproof seal for your robot submarine UUV whatever